good evening YouTube. Brewed by me here. Tonight I'm going to be doing my last of the wet hopped beers I had. This is a collaboration ale uh, brewed uh, by the Propeller Brewing Company in Halifax, Nova Scotia, Canada and the Sea Level Brewing which is, uh, I believe, a pub in the Nova Scotia hub. Uh, now, this is a very, very special beer. Um, Maritimers have a hard time getting it. It was sent to me by uh, Max Ma Mad Maxwell Star of Maxwell Star's Beer Reviews. Uh, a big thank you to him for this awesome beer that's hard to find and hard to come by. It's uh, truly appreciated. <coughs> I can't thank you enough for this one. Um, anyways, uh, it's Alpha Dog percent Alpha Dog wet hopped collaboration ale made with 100% Annapolis Valley hops, 5.5% ABV. Alpha Dog wet hopped ale features the freshest local hops from Nova Scotia's Annapolis Valley. Once harvest harvested, these hops are shipped undried or wet to Propellers Brew Kettle in Halifax. Their oils and resins. <coughs> And their Peak Alpha Dog is a collaboration between Sea Level Brewing in Port Williams and Propeller Brewing in Halifax. <coughs> so, the propeller cap. Again, a big thank you to Mad Maxwell Star of Maxwell Star's Beer Reviews for this beer. Thanks a lot, buddy. This is truly appreciated. I can't wait to taste it. Using my steam whistle glass. My Bose coaster. Brew by me. Let's open her up. <coughs> oh, oh, the foam, the foam, no! This smells hoppy, people. Whew. A little bit of spillage, oh well, not bad. All right. bbbafly.com Alright, the color, golden in color, lots of carbonation, unfiltered, three fingers ahead, very big bubbles, beigey white head, onto the smell. And lots of hops, people. Um, it smells really good. Uh, nice sweetness, a nice maltiness, some caramel hints there. Um, a lot of citrus, a lot of floral, uh, some pine. Not too much more, like I said, sweet, malty, citrusy, uh, floral, piney. Um, that's about it for the smells, guys. Let's give her a taste, see what we get. Mm. Wow. I'm not sure what kind of beer this is. It kind of tastes like an IPA. Um, very bitter, very hoppy. Iceberg head. Mm. Wow. All right. <clears throat> As for the taste. Right off the bat, it's bitter, 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 bitter. Lots of bitterness. 
not a bad bitterness, a good bitterness. Um, there's a whole whack of hops in there because um, there's a very, very faint sweetness, a very, very sweet maltiness. Um, you know, nice carbonation on the tongue, but the bitterness. If you like bitter beers, this is awesome because um, the bitterness just sticks there. It doesn't go anywhere. It's sitting on my tongue right now. Oh, excuse me. Um, lots and lots of bitterness. So, <clears throat> so the taste that you're getting from the bitterness on your tongue is a very very it's more piney yeah more piney on your tongue and then you get the little bit of citrus and then you get the little bit of floral at the back um, basically that's all this beer is is a very straightforward uh, bitter tasting beer um, not bad by any means if you like bitter beers this will be perfect for you guys um, it's a little too bitter for me, but uh, it's not bad. It's a very, very tasty beer, and uh, it's like the pine is just sitting there on your tongue. That's the thing I don't like. It'd be a good thing if it could sit there and then disappear, you know, and then you take another sip and then the sweetness comes in and washes the bitterness away, but no. As soon as you take a sip, it's all bitter, bitter, bitter. Bitter throughout the whole thing. It's uh, not bad. Like I said, uh, I don't mind it one bit. Uh, a very, very decent beer. Um, as for malt, it's uh, your basic two-row pale malt. Um, there's some caramel crystal malt in there, and that's about it for that. And um, for the hops, I, I don't, I'm not 100% sure. Annapolis Valley hops. Uh, I'm not sure what they grow down there. I don't know what kind of hops they grow down there, but in my opinion, it's kind of like a. It reminds me of a Challenger hop, so it's very, very piney. Challenger hops are very, very piney. Um, and then something like a. Maybe a Centennial something, a very, very citrusy, bitter hop as well. I'm guessing the percent is a. Uh, I wish I knew what the IBUs were on this beer. I'm gonna look it up after, I guess. Because uh, they're high. Anyways, uh, if you can find this beer, it's very, very a limited release. I believe it's a seasonal that they do every. Uh, like it's a uh, like a um, it's a special beer they do like once a year um, the, the sea level brewery and propeller um, basically is brewed at the propeller brewery um, but the two companies combine to make it um, a big thank you to Nick Mad Maxwell Star of Maxwell Stars for this beer it's truly appreciated it's awesome. Um, I don't know what else to tell you. This is awesome. Like to have such a rare beer for you Maritimers, and it comes from the Maritimes. It's awesome, and it is a very, very good beer. Like I said, the only thing is, it's very bitter for me. Um, like I like IPAs, I like double IPAs, but there's something about this one that is just too, too bitter. Like the the bitter just sits there on the tongue. And I don't, I'm not, I don't like that. Um, so, anyways. Uh, Thanks for watching. Uh, please rate, comment, subscribe. Leave any suggestions or ideas in the comment box. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Um, anyways, thanks. Good night, all. Brew by me. Out. Bibi Bafla.